Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the pre-show. It's me, your boy, Big Puffer. I mean, I guess it's like a welcome back, right? This is the this is the, the the first episode since you know for the holidays, you know. So happy holidays, everybody! I hope you guys had a good, fun holidays. Which camera is mine right now? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Shout out to everybody in the chat off top. You already know I got mad love for you. Who's up in here? Two joints, of course. My dog. Who else? CBC voter. Big shout out. Big shout out to everybody. Hope you guys all had a happy holidays. I did. I did. I did a lot of things, you know. Today's show is going to be dope. A lot of really cool guests, you know. Got a really cool uh, song for, uh, you know, for a uh, video of uh, the feature song, you know, at Dab Time. So it's going to be really dope. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to take a dab right now, a pre-show dab, so uh, bear with me. If you guys are dabbing or smoking a joint or whatever, you can, uh, you know, get your uh, smoke on a little early, you know, take a pre-show dab with me. I feel like uh, this could be a dream. Big shout out to Backcountry Labs. I'm about to take a dab from one of their... Uh, one of their dope uh, products. Oh yeah, before I forget, yo. <laughs> if you guys want to get fresh like me. It's beautiful. You can cop them now at gtown604.com. So again, if you want to look fresh like me, gtown604.com. Yeah, now let me take my day. Papa, what's good, brother? How's it going, man? How's it going? Good. How about you? I'm just about to take a pre-show dab. I'm doing good, though. That's what's up, man. I felt a strange presence when I walked in the room. You, you, you good? Everything cool today? You got good energy? I got good energy. I got good energy. But, you know, there, there is something in the air. There is something in the air. It's well, not it's just hazy. Smoke. Yeah, I was yeah, just going to say, yeah. it's hazy. It's going to be... It's going to be a hazy show, that is for sure, man. We got a lot of people on the show this week. A lot. I, I was telling them that there's a lot of guests, a lot of dope guests. So Tweedledoo's on the show today. She's around here somewhere. Uh, Mike from Smoker's Guide's on the show today. Taking photos over there. Uh, your uh, your homeboy Keensy's on the place yep, to be. He's got yep. the, he got the jam. Uh, and of course Ben Rispin. Uh, Respin, Rispin. Sorry, no G on the end there. Ben Rispin. Um, first time his time on the show, man. So. Plus, we got to catch up. I haven't seen you since before Christmas. Lots of long different. time, long Lots time. Different. And I want to say uh, thanks for the uh, uh, the hoodie, the okay. expert joints hoodie. You know, thanks, man. I was gonna wear it today, but then but I like what you're wearing. This G Town 604 gear. Now, I also seem to remember I had recently seen an Instagram account for G Town 604. Yep, it's literally G Town 604 on Instagram. Uh, if I wanted one of these to like put on the ceiling, or if I was interested in purchasing one of these, how would I go about that? GTown604.com. My man. Very simple, very easy. Very affordable and sizes for all. Sizes for all. I trust love me. it, man. Do that dab and let's get on with the Thank show you. here. Man. It's cold all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, yes, big show ahead of us here. Starting that up in a minute. Like I said, episode 158. It's been a minute since I've been in the place to be. Oh, good. Thank you. Hey, lots of people in the chat doing it. Everybody there. Yes, good news and bad news abounds. So much to talk about. We'll talk about some of it, of course, here through the show. But much more I can promise you to come on Cannabis Culture News tomorrow with Jeremiah. <coughs> promise you with that one. Also, 418, just waiting for it. Just waiting for it. Just waiting for it. Just waiting for it. Just wait. Hey, girl, how are you? That was part of Tweedledoob who just sat down in front of us. You'll see more. Oh, that's a little more of her as well, too. There you go. A uh, little bit more of her and much more to come with her and more on the show. Andrew, it's 419. Run the intro. The opinions expressed in the following program are those of the producer and do not necessarily reflect those of Cannabis Life Network, POT TV, Cannabis Culture, or High Times.
Hey, check it out, 420. Ah, it's good to say it again. Light them if you got them. Episode 158 of Expert Joints Live. In the place to be back at Studio 710 after, what was it, I guess three weeks off or something like that. Didn't do a show for a couple weeks. Back here in the place to be. Oh, it's good to be back. I hope you guys had a good holidays. Happy, happy New Year and Merry Christmas and Kwanzaa and Festivus and everything. It's good times. Good times, man. Uh, I shockingly worked for my holiday break. Big fucking surprise there. Um, I didn't do any shows, but I still worked. Actually, on Friday, we did two pre-recorded episodes, though. We did uh, episode 25 and 26 of the radio show over there on Save On Radio, but we actually just, like, phoned it in. Actually, we pre-recorded it, some voiceovers, and so we played some music. Uh, and actually, in the last episode 26 that we had the other day, um, it was the recap of uh, all the songs that came out in 2018. So that was a big record. A uh, big uh, bunch of big records came out and a great show, so check that out. And also, the big news is Andrew showed the graphic a minute ago. Yes, High Times TV. We dropped two more series on High Times TV now. So now you can also watch Out and About with Craig X and Fridays with Craig X and DJ Slippy on High Times TV in addition to uh, Chronic Cooking with Craig X, Expert Joints Presents, and Expert Joints Live. So that's five series on High Times TV. Go to tv.hightimes.com or get the High Times TV app for uh, Google Play, uh, Apple Store, iTunes, whatever all that shit is. Something called Roku, apparently. I'm, I'm dating myself. I don't know what that necessarily is, but there's a link for it and an app for it. Go there. Look for High Times TV. Get that fucker. And uh, when you do and you pop it up, first thing you're going to see, your boy. Uh, click on the links, watch the shows. We got five series on there. It's great. So thanks to High Times TV for doing that. And that basically gets you caught up uh, this week on the show. Let's talk to that. Episode 158. Ben Rispin from Puff Digital uh, Into the Weeds podcast and the, the band Rules is, also, is here. So that's cool. Uh, our old buddy Mike from Smoker's Guide. He's in the place to be. You know, tall fucker with the big long beard. Always a good guy to have around here. He's going to show us how he rolls. I mean, he rolls... He rolls, man. Uh, Keemzy is rolling through as well, too. We're going to check out his track during dab time with my man, the Big Puffa, in the place to be. We saw him earlier as well, too. And we're going to finally debut the Cannabis Life Network video of Craig X at the Emerald Cup in the new Out and About video. That's right. That comes out today as well, too. Looking forward to that. It's been... I should want to get it out earlier because there's already other people starting to show their recap videos of Emerald Cup and shit and I'm like that. And I'm like, eh, just wait. You just, just wait. I was just coming. Yeah, it'll be coming at the end of this show, so that's it. Also, lots of people in the chat room as well, too. What's going on, 420? Wild Dragon. Two joints. Did you get your packages yet? Sorry it took me a while to send those out, but they're all out now. The Wellness Soldier. What's going on, Cody Lindsay? CBC Voter in the place to be as well, too. All kind of people over there. Uh, my channel is cool. I like that. Jam Yang to Saring. Uh, you got the package. Oh, that's fantastic. Good to hear it. Riley Peterson in the place to be. Detonator in the place to be as well, too. Um, Big Chew. OG Brick 420. Riley Pearson, so many people. Thank you all for tuning in. I missed you all, motherfuckers, man. It's been good to be uh, getting some time off and get a little bit of sleep, but uh, it's good to have you back on the show. So <clears throat> let's roll a doob, shall we? I got some, got some weed around here somewhere. Oh, I got some cool shit, some new shit from a few people, but this Bubba D I'm going to start out with from the dispensary. But before I get to rolling the doob, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show Tweedledoob. Hey. Hey, Marley, what's going on, girl? Super happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we've seen you on the show in past in conjunction with some of the Karma Cup shows and when I've been in Toronto and all that stuff. And I know you have been to Vancouver for other events at different times. But finally, Yay. in Studio 710, one of my favorite people in the whole weed scene, especially out in Toronto there. I call her one of the top five most influential people out in the Toronto uh, cannabis scene doing it. We're going to talk a little bit more with you, of course. For those people who don't know, I gotta ask, uh, how's things in Toronto? Great, very good. Yep, uh, colder than mm -hmm. Vancouver, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's iced coffee weather out hey. here for me, so I'm super happy to be here. But yeah, Toronto's good. Uh, you, of course, for, yeah, like I was saying, don't don't know. We've got the Instagram manager will probably pop up. Photographer, marketer, consultant. I don't I don't know what to call you anymore at this point in me the either. cannabis space. Um, you really, I mean, you've got quite the story. We've started as a, I guess, a bit of a online kind of person like me and a few other people out there putting themselves out there for the world to see. <coughs> <coughs> and people started to gravitate to it for whatever reason. I mean, I know why they uh, attached to you, but um, I wonder about this and me. But, um, 
and now you've actually turned it into like a career. Yeah, it's. You were just like helping out. A now you've like left the other world behind, doing photos, doing weed stuff, even working with uh, Seven Acres or some shit, doing consulting with them or something. Yeah, so I've been doing some uh, marketing consulting for the Supreme Cannabis Company that owns Seven Acres. Got it. And yeah, I, I mean, I first started in the industry working at a lounge at Vape on the Lake in Toronto while I was in university. Just a Vape on the Lake. Yeah. I never thought that it would turn into a career or that there was really like kind of a place for me, but I've definitely found that this is the industry for me. So it's really, Instagram's really opened the doors for me. Well, there's a lot of other uh, men and women who would probably back you up on that. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, the Instagram girls and shit like that. And, Yo, it's it's a legit thing. My guest on my radio show tomorrow is BC Budgal. Nice. And what does she do? She smokes weed and talks about it. You're actually going to be on their show on Monday. Yeah. Right? With Carly Marley, the 420 Lifestyle over there Mondays on Pot TV. Um, I think it's awesome. So make sure you check out her account. I love what you do. And also, one of my favorite things is uh, the Roger James uh, Tweedledoo pin that I have on yes. the wall. One of my most prized of all my trinkets that I, I have. I have lots of those with me. So I'm hoping that if anybody sees this, if you, see, if you see me at the expo or around Vancouver, definitely ask me for a pin. Yeah, I guess you're out here for the big old trade show. Yeah. Right? Are you doing anything with it? Where the booth? Are you hanging out? Or what's your deal? I'm not working at a booth this time. I'm just hanging out, networking. I've been to the Lyft Expo and a lot of expos in right. Toronto, right. but never anything in Vancouver. So I'm really interested to see how the scene is the same and different and well, what the vibe is? At least you can smoke weed here. <laughs> I mean, we still smoke weed there. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. just not allowed it, to. It's just, out, you just outside <laughs> the fucking front door type of... Yeah, well, there's like an area for it. And it's, it's, a, it's not that I'm going to blast or spend time talking about it, whatever. But it's a trade show. You don't go there to buy weed or buy seeds or, sure. or sop up all cool aspects of the culture. You go there because you need packaging and fucking insurance and consulting services and business shit. Like it's like the same thing. Do you find it's really corporate here? There's not much of a balance between the community? Like you don't get head shops with booths I mean, and stuff like there's that? There's sometimes there's a couple, but when you look at like an event, say like Emerald Cup or whatever, oh, yeah. versus say an event like MJ BizCon or Lyft or, or, or Ocana Biz, yeah. it's okay. Like companies need packaging, like this fine packaging that Weeds uh, mm -hmm. packages their products in that I think came from uh, Jade Maple. Uh, but I couldn't confirm or deny that or recommend that you look them up at jademaple.com. You wouldn't want to do that at all. Um, <laughs> it's still on. It looks like a mic. I don't have any, but all the buttons seem good. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, cool. Sorry, Andrew whispering sweet nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I get it. It needs to be there, but it's a two different kinds of events. Like, and that's fine. I prefer to go to the events that have weeds at them and that you can buy the weed and smoke the weed and see the seeds and meet those people. Cool. For sure. But the other people, the whole business side of you need it there too. I think there is some, but because we have like such events that are like 420 out here that are so yeah, grassroots and. Your 420 looks nuts. Yeah. Toronto's like 10,000 people. Ours is Vancouver, about 100. Yeah. So. Crush it. it. Come, come out here next year. I well, you're crushing to. it. You're killing it. And you're going to hang out with us all day. Just kind of post up. Yep. I love it. What are you smoking, by the way? You gave me this. I oh, don't know. Oh, that's my joint, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm it's smoking pretty good What here. is it? It's delicious. I, uh, I tend to smoke uh, a fair bit of products. Today, we're smoking, this is the Bubba D I'm about to roll up from uh, the folks at the Medicinal Cannabis Dispensary, which I believe is TMCD604 on Instagram. And I think I probably have a very close-up image of what I'm looking at right here. This is what I'm going to roll up right now. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Looking pretty good. That's quite the camera. Yeah, hang on. Well, y you would know about photos. Probably not make it look as nice as you do, but <coughs> at least there's some heads on it. Some other shit that I put in the bud cam recently for a friend. There was no heads. There oh, was mold. Like, there was bud rot. Oh, wow. But there was no heads. And there I've was seen that before. It's just the stems yep. with no head. Yeah, and then bud rot and mold and excessive packaging and a large receipt for it. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> this is not that at all. This is beautiful looking weed, and I'm looking forward to smoking it. Uh, I'm also looking forward to uh, moving on with the show. So. Do you mind uh, trading spaces yeah, with my cool. good guest over here, Ben Rispin, let's do it. in the place to be, swapping him around there. We could have done that a little bit <laughs> less cleaner, <laughs> but that's all right. Also, while we're doing that, we could have also thrown up the uh, uh, the graphic. Ben's in town as well, too. That was the throw that I forgot to make, and Angie's like, well, what about this graphic? I still got one more graphic on my list. Uh, you're in town.
town this weekend for the trade show. And if you're in town this weekend for the trade show, like several of our guests and several of our friends are through the day, and we know you, you're a buddy of ours, or you want to come by and say hi, we'll have an open house here this weekend at Studio 710. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, noon till I feel like going home. Um, if you uh, if you're in the business and you want to come on by and say hi, if you uh, if we don't know you, you're not somebody who's we're familiar with or hasn't been around before. We'll give us a DM or an email info at expertjoints.com and we'll figure it out, man. We'll be here through the weekend, smoking, chilling out, and we're only three blocks away. And actually, you can smoke weed indoors here. So hey, that's nice. Yeah, right. That yeah. said, now let me throw back to get to back here, my man Ben. So uh, <laughs> you're in the place to be here. Yeah. I fucked up the intro a little bit. Let me roll this back I here. I think I fucked it up. No, I, whatever. It's all good. We're working on it, man. Oh, We've been off for a few weeks, we've man. We're just way. making a backup before. Um, CannabisDispensary.ca is the website to check here, and then I would say right, and then I would say from there. Uh, what, was, what was the what was the throw? Oh, if you happen to browse around, we show the website. Yada yada yada. If, oh, if you choose to do so, you can check the website. I can't say you do that. I've done it before. I've checked their sites, and I've checked their stores at 880 East Hastings. And, boy, I really wrote this out pretty good. 1182 Thurlow. Just, uh, the probably doors in the other room, I think. Uh, and then I was going to say, if you like, that's what it was. And if you like websites, digital media, podcast, and psychedelic hardcore. Yeah. That's kind of a, 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 a I don't think it really eclectic, exists. A, a eclectic kind of <laughs> unit. There's gonna be a very small, small <laughs> demographic that fits all, <laughs> all three of those boxes. You love my guest, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the creative director of Puck Digital, co-host of Into the Weeds podcast, the front man of Psychedelic Hardcore Group Rules. Please yeah. welcome to the show Ben Rispin. Thanks, man. Thank you. Fuck, longest <laughs> intro ever. Jesus, that can we get long. over? Can we move over the show yet? It's yeah. almost over now. Well, and thanks, that was it. Andrew, hit here. the music. <laughs> thanks for so yeah, man. Got a lot off my chest. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, dude, good to have you out here, man. Thank of you course. so much for having me. This is awesome. Welcome Everybody's so something. cool here. Everybody's, this fucking place is incredible. I'm allowed to swear, right? Yeah. Fuck, fuck, shit, shit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> fuck yeah. This place is fucking incredible. And uh, the whole team here is fucking, this is great, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate I you it. coming through. I know there's going to be a lot of people dropping by this weekend. I'm glad to have you through here. We've worked together a little bit in the past. People might not know, but you did some of the old MMJ events. Yeah. And I emceed a couple Super of them. Super proud of that stuff. Yeah, right? Yeah, I had a great time doing yeah, all that. Yeah. We raised a lot of money and had a lot of fun at those events. Yeah. So thanks for being a part. And Thank you. Yeah, it was awesome, man. We're doing the auction stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah totally. Uh, yeah. Uh, how have you been since? I've been great, man. Busy. Chilling? Yeah, yeah. Working. Yeah, busy doing yeah. this stuff with Puff Digital is the thing to get to. Yeah, uh, since, so, yeah. Uh, what is it? So Puff Digital um, is uh, essentially uh, a cannabis content syndication and distribution network. And it's grown really, really large. And we've, we, have, we have media assets, and there's an agency aspect where we do content creation, much like yourselves. Um, but yeah, we uh, like, you know, several SEO verticals. Under yeah, the there's a lot of verticals. Well. It's uh, it's I am the creative director of most of the media sites, and so that's what I do. That's why I get to create content like this. Um, and it's great. I love it. It's a, it's a really cool job, and it's really cool people, and uh, I feel really lucky to be a part of it. Some of the brands or streams or, or lines associated with it that people would know, well, Puff Puff. Well, we got we are, uh, Puff Puff Post. Right. Uh, we're partners with Skunk uh, Magazine. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say that yet. Shit. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it's on the website. It's uh, oh, is it? Yeah, okay. It's on the okay, great then. Yeah. So Skunk Magazine. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> uh, we, uh, yeah, we have HireMentality.com. Um, cannabis pages, a bunch of things like that. We have a bunch of other uh, and partners I'm, in the works. And I'm pretty sure we have the website up there that we could pull up. So he's like, are you sure about that? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I'm pretty sure if we scroll, it says somewhere in there about all that stuff. You can check I out. I probably could have killed that description a bit better, but you've been getting me high since like one in the afternoon. <laughs> and also, <laughs> so fucking big. And also, hey, oh, oh, my mic's. A little bit of surgery here. Fix my tie, Dad. A little bit here. There we go. We're making it all happen. You're, oh, is, Jesus, oh. peace. Fucked it up even worse. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. No, we're good. Don't go to commercial. I'm here. Hey, doing it. Yes. Uh, Thank you. How did you hook up with them? I mean, you're a fairly creative guy, but um, how did you get to... Well, I, like, I still work with Hello Cannabis. Uh, we do, like, uh, education. So I was looking for media outlets to, to partner with to get, you know, medical education for cannabis out there. Right. And um, met with just Puff Digital. Peter, uh, the, the founder of Puff Digital, we started talking about things we could do over there. And then um, somehow it led to the podcast that I co-host now. Uh, Into called the Weeds. Into the Weeds. Um, and so he said, I said, well, I'm trying to get something like this off the ground, and I had been since the MMJ days. Um, you got a background like film or production or yeah. something like that too, don't you? Yep, absolutely. I, um, uh, 20, 25 years probably in, in, in music, in independent music and DIY music, and then because we were all punk, it was all punk rock stuff, so we all had to like learn how to do our own PR, yeah. our own festivals, and it all kind of led to that. Then that led into videos and a little bit of film and stuff. So 
uh, that's kind of where I was before I got into you know cannabis professionally. I mean, right. you know, truth be told, something was paying for the punk rock, <laughs> <Plus the record's laughs> yeah, right. Hey now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then so that's kind of how I got into MMJ, and then to Hello Cannabis, and then we did, so then we got the podcast, and we launched the End of the Weeds podcast. That's with my buddy Bubba and uh, my buddy. I was just gonna say, yeah, you got a couple of co-hosts around yeah. there as well too. Uh, what's what is the show about? So Give me the rundown, the okay. pitch on it. Well, it's called Into the Weeds, and it's just about how people got into weed. The overall idea is to destigmatize what a user looks like, and so have all kinds of different people on there. Um, you know, just well, to help. Can I be on it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to have you on it. We were gonna come and, and record while we were here. Oh, there's my hey. picture. That's heavy. heavy. That's like yeah. Hey, I know heavy. Well. We've been really fortunate, so to get guests. So me and my friend Ephraim, who is the frontman of a, a hardcore band called Death by Stereo out of LA, and he's also the frontman of like a, a Mexican ska band called the uh, Voodoo Glow Skulls. That it's just has all kinds of weird sounds when you say that. <laughs> oh, I know awesome, all of dude. those words independently. Yeah, if, 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 you're not on Voodoo Glow, like, if you're not on Death by Stereo or Voodoo Glow Skulls, you're fucking missing out. Hey, both, both Ephraim's bands rule. And so <laughs> we met back in the day touring and like, punk, like playing in punk bands and stuff, and then we were just friends forever. And so a while back, we were like, let's try to get a cannabis podcast going, because I'd, I'd gone out to L.A. and hung out. We'd done some production work together, and we just always would want to do some, something fun together that's kind of easy. And, like, you know, it's relatively easy to produce a podcast, you know? Right. Like, it's not like making a record, yeah. you know? Ain't nothing. It's not like a band where you got, you know? It, well, I guess it kind of is, but anyway. No, I mean, it depends what you want to put into it, man. I used to do this in my living room, and I started because, well, I don't yeah, have a video true. to put out this week, so I figure I could just do a, a little video show from the li It can't be that hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You built a fucking great thing here. Well, I mean, your show's doing really, really well, too, over there on iTunes as well. Uh, yeah, it, 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 uh, the numbers were strong. It, it, it's, uh, the following strong. We're getting a lot of engagement. We had really great guests. So Ephraim, Ephraim is one of the hosts. And then I'm also, the other co-host is one of my lifelong friends, Bubba Nicholson. Um, he's a great guy. And, like, you know, he's, uh, so it's the three of us. And Ephraim and Bubba, and I guess it's kind of me too, we, we have a pretty strong network. So Ephraim, we went down say. to LA and then Ephraim got like us great guests for the first batch, like Money Mark from Beastie Boys and like Rick Thorne, like X Games Champion and like Billy G from Biohazard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ophelia uh, yeah. Chong. Ophelia Chong. Uh, uh, Sarah yep. Hanlon. Sarah Hanlon. Shows yep. the flats Hanlon. Sarah, and I'm calling yeah. on Sarah's you the and DJ yeah. Indian yeah. for coming yeah. to be on the show. Ian and DJ. Yeah, Ophelia yeah, Chong was, like, was one of my right. favorite episodes. Right. I love Ophelia to death. She's such a fucking cool person. Uh, Jackie Childs as well, too. Jackie She's Child's doing it big out yeah. there in yes. Toronto as well, too. Yep. She got the millions of followers as well. Yeah. And yes, the illest motherfucker alive. Yeah, man. That was the wildest. Like, like Honestly, like the coolest experience of my life. I'm a huge Beastie Boys fan. And it really was. Uh, Andrew, I know Andrew's a Beastie Boys fan. Yeah. Andrew, run it. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, sick. What was the first uh, Beastie tour you did? Uh, Beastie Boy tour was 1992, and the first show, I believe, was I Beam in San Francisco, in The Hate. Okay. And I remember that the song So What You Want wasn't even on the um wasn't on the the um you know the song list for the night. And we had we had no idea that that was the song. Until I think their manager called and this is before cell phones, so it was like yeah. calling at the hotel and the manager's like, K Rock's playing one of your songs. It's the song So What You Want. It's like really? That song? Really? And, yeah, I was like, okay. And that's where the illest motherfucker from here to Gardena, that's where yeah. that came from. So that's, that was from I was from yeah. Gardena, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I played that opening <laughs> lick kiki on the on the organ. So it's kind of my song in a way. In a way. But um we had to actually put it in the in the set list. Like, oh, can, I, can I share a story with you? Are we on? Are we out back line again? Yeah, we are now, yeah. So that was like the coolest experience of my life. So I want to put that into context for you guys. So um, Money Mark was the producer of Check Your Head, or like the, one of the main main components of creating Check Your Head by the Beastie Boys and and Ill Communication and, and a lot of the Beastie Boys music. Mm -hmm. But Check Your Head, they, they, they had no money after Paul's Boutique, and so they were basically hotboxing Ad-Rock's apartment, uh, two-bedroom apartment in L.A., while they started making Check Your Head. And so there was such a DIY movement going on. It, it, it's, it's very unique to, to my understanding of music. And so when I first started playing bass guitar, uh, I wanted to, uh, like the, the first riff I basically, one of the first riffs was Beastie Boys Gratitude. 
And I'm not trying to bore people. It's just so no, cool. No, no, I no. Share tell it. it. Tell it. <laughs> and so uh, it's so cool for me. So just indulge me. Yeah, podcast. we got time. <laughs> You're in chair one, man. It's what are you going to do? It's all you, man. Yeah, all right, cool, man. We're just going to talk just about the Beastie Boys for three hours. Yeah, just, <laughs> just us here, man. Um, we're good. So anyway, so that, that riff, I was always trying. I bought like a, I got like a 78 Rickenbacker. We had like a trainer amp. I got like, I was trying to figure out how to get that distortion, right? My whole life. And so that riff. That like gratitude, that thing like I can play it like, like it's it's the riff I pick up if I pick up a guitar at all like I'm not a great guitarist or anything but like to feel like the action of a guitar you know that's, like, that's, that's my go-to riff and so I, I like I, I don't I don't think it was on the show it was after like I nerded out super fucking hard because I don't <laughs> talk to like I didn't talk to him before because I didn't want to like lose any questions or lose any content so it sucked because like they all went for pizza without me <laughs> and I was like fuck but. Um, I, I started asking about it, and then he, he started telling me what like what it was, and then he went and dug up the actual schematics from Check Your Head, and sent me like the exact setup to get that fucking bass tone, and it was like that was something I started doing in like 1992, and it's like fuck man, we that's brought we cool. brought a full circle for me with the Beastie Boys, hey, that's dope, that's super amazing. dope, you know, it was right. a great thing, and I'm like I'm so, Very cool. and he's like super nice guy, like we went and had dinner, and just we, like Beastie Boys are my favorite shit, dude, <laughs> it, was, it was so cool for me, Eighty. that's amazing, yeah, I'm really grateful, I'm really grateful for that experience, <laughs> he's the best, yeah. man, it is cool how how shit gets around, you said that the weed bringing this shit full circle and stuff yeah, like man. that, you know, I was I was a big fan of Wu Tang, and you know, there's no secret I've gotten a chance to talk to Raekwon so and cool. Method Man. Man, indirectly, you know, fucking Red Man and shit like that. All these guys who I listen <laughs> yeah. to forever. Let alone some of the new cats you get to talk to now. But it's like, the, yeah. yeah, you grew up listening to these guys fucking smoking weed. Yeah. And now you get to smoke with with these guys and fucking talk yeah. to them. It, it's not even like a fan. It's not a f like like obviously you're a huge fan. It's just like those kind of dudes. Like I respect their work so much. Like not a lot of people talk about in the '90s. Like everybody talks about grunge and shit. But there was also like the Beastie Boys because they had no money, so they started Grand Royal. They brought that culture to the mainstream. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, like DIY, start your own record label. Like, there was obviously indie labels before that, but they really brought it to, like, mm. oh, you can really do that, like, into, like, mm. that, that part of, like, the, the global, like, the consciousness of yeah. the era. Mm. So, I don't know. I thought, like, I don't know. It's just cool, man. I got a lot of cool. respect for that kind of shit. And it's cool that you get to do that, too, because, like, obviously, you're, like, super into the fucking Wu-Tang, dude. Who doesn't want to talk to Wu-Tang? Well, Like, 36 I mean, Chambers? Shit, man. I'm glad <laughs> to be talking to you today. And, obviously, I'm happy to fucking promote the fact that if people want to hear more of the podcast and more of the stories yeah. and shit, it's Into the Weeds. GetIntoTheWeeds.com. All of our shit's at Get Into the Weeds. Uh, get Into the Weeds at Instagram as well, too, yeah. is the page. And I, on oh. Apple iTunes, you can listen to the show as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on iTunes, Spotify. It's supposed to be on the Google thing, but it always fucks up. Nice. It's around. It, you know, it, it's, it's around. Just so do you enjoy the podcast game more or the psychedelic hardcore <laughs> more? And how do you find time to front the band rules? Uh, well, actually, to, we, we kind of put the band on hiatus for a little while. Um, you, uh, I, I, liked, I like doing the podcast stuff. I, I like, uh, at this time in my life, you know, I, I like... It's easier because we get to travel and go work and do kind of like we get to sort of live that tour lifestyle because it's like a bunch of my best friends like shout out it's Ephra, it's Ephra Bubba and then like Pat Coppolino who's a great comedian he's our producer behind the scenes um, and so it is kind of I, I still get that band shit but I don't have to worry about my voice every day you know what I mean right. like like it is touring gets fucking taxing on mm -hmm. you like playing every night and stuff like that mm -hmm. so. I think at this point in the game, I really like doing the podcast, but like, I love getting together with the fellas, you know, and screaming my fucking head off. <laughs> that, that's never going away. Like, it, it hasn't since I was. We, we got into that shit when I was thirteen. We used to get. Sounds we got like fake ID, We got fake IDs when we were kids <laughs> to fucking rent out church basements, like not to get fucking booze. <laughs> <laughs> to do punk shows. To do that's punk amazing. shows. That's amazing. For real, hard, that's <laughs> hard, man. Uh, did, I, did I not see something about an album coming though, or something? Yeah, we are. Like, we're gonna do a bunch of rule stuff. We got a record that we tried to put together last year. Then like. Sometimes we just got like, I don't know, we're all brothers, so we got a little dysfunctional. <laughs> we had to just step away from it for a minute. Right. And then so, yeah, we're going to, it's going to come out uh, in April on Stomp Records out of Montreal. So that's really cool. And then, like, uh, I, I, well, I, in the day when I was like touring heavy and, and stuff like that with uh, those bands, the Stomp always put out our records. So they're like family too. So I get to go hang out in Montreal with those dudes because they're fantastic. And so, yeah, I'm really lucky that I, I get to still like fuck with that. You know what I mean? I, I think it's incredibly cool to be able to pursue your passions in life, you know, uh, rest in peace to Anthony Bourdain, yeah. mm. kind of an inspiration. He's like, I did all these fucking jobs forever, I, I, I was good at some of them, but they weren't good for me, you know, my life sucked, I hated some shit, whatever, whatever. Obviously he ended up having some other problems, but he's like, but I wrote a book, and it took Fuck off, yeah. and then I got to travel around the world and do all this stuff, and my life completely changed. Yeah. Somehow, smoking weed and talking about it is changing people's lives, and much media has sprung from it. And well, shit, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fucking great, man. 
Uh, and of course, you've had some success in the music front as well, too. So it's no, it's no surprise. We, I, I, you I, won some awards and been nominated for some shit before. Yeah, we had a good run, man. We got music was pretty good to me. Like you know, uh, you know, we're no, by no means like rock stars, but we got a little. Our, our drummer Matt Richmond. You won a Juno Award or two, didn't you? No, we got nominated. We, well, we got to win some awards and stuff. But we, we <laughs> our, our drummer Matt Richmond, like he was also my, one of my hardcore bands called Video Dead. He always said, like, welcome to the bottom of the top, because we were out on the ship and nobody knew who the fuck we were. Right. You know what I mean? So we got to kind of yeah, see that yeah, shit, but we were, it was kind of like also being a fly on the wall. Right. <laughs> one time, at, we're in Vancouver. So <laughs> this is a funny one. We were walking into the Junos. We were nominated for a video or something. And we're walking in. We were right behind Nickelback. And, the, and Nick, like, I, like, I'm not dissing Chad Kruger or anything like that. I'm not, like, no, I know no. somebody who used to sell a lot of weed to no, him. No, sure, man. You know, whatever. But, but his, bouncer, his bouncer, his security, went to us and goes, keep your hands off the Chad. <laughs> Like, no problem, dude. The Chad. And like that, like, keep your hands off the Chad. Watch the Chad. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, rips, man. I'll, I'll, I, would love to, I would love to fucking be able to tell the, the, the Nickelback story one of these days, but it's pretty fucking funny. Uh, those guys smoke I've heard those guys the salt of the earth, though. Uh, like, whatever people think about their music, I know that's yeah, a thing. Yeah, honestly, all, all in all, good people for the most part. Just really just some video game playing guys from fucking Alberta, for the most part, who found yeah. their little lane sure. that to their little, their little fan base, yeah, yeah. They, they kill it. Yeah, yeah. To everyone else, it's easy to hate on them, and I mean, you know, you can easily pick on a lot of different man. people, you know I mean? right? People, right? Di people like different shit. But they've sold like it's not more bad brains. You know, I'm gonna go listen to that, but like a lot of people yeah. don't like bad brains. Yeah. They've sold, they sold more fucking records. They made more fucking money, and they've figured out their little slice better than most people have. So I can't really hate on that. No, for fucking no, man. Why would you? Right? Like, well, what a waste of energy. Right? No. Uh, <laughs> right? There's, 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 well, there's you know, one you, particular. You got, you, got, you got empires to build, my friend. Yeah, you can't oh, be hating on Nickelback. <laughs> right? I don't hate on anything, man. Uh, <laughs> building an empire is my man, Ben Rispin, though. And obviously, you can keep up with him over Ben Rispin over on the Instagram as well, too. Uh, Puff.digital, get into the weeds. Rules are a band. Uh, any plugs, shout outs, things we've missed? I mean, you're not going anywhere yet, but no. just for this segment. Um, if people are watching this Sunday. There's an event. That you got, yeah, a, you got yeah. a reuniting of the band. Yeah, but yeah, uh, my one band, St. LV, is getting together for a tune. But more importantly, it's a, there's a memorial for Mike Be Beard Guy Taylor, the band Walk mm -hmm. Off the Earth. He passed away. There it is. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mike Taylor. He was fucking beautiful, man. Um, mm -hmm. And so we're all getting together. We're gonna play. We're gonna play a show. Some and big it's gonna names be awesome. on that act. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be cool, and it's nice to be a part of it. And like those guys are like uh, like Johnny from Walk Off the Earth, man. We've been like best buds since we were like 17, dude. Mm -hmm. Like. Those guys are real motherfuckers, and like true G's, and like I, I, mm. I, you know, I'm super heartbroken about that. Right. Yeah. Well, good of you guys to do it, man. Lots of bands on the build coming out and to support. Appreciate you doing that. I'm sure they'll they'll be happy to support. I mean, one thing about we see in the cannabis community, you know, and and w when times get tough, yeah. a lot of you know that pulls together, and it's good to see you know you guys coming together and doing that to support one of your friends as well too. So. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Event is Thanks. sorry. Let's give them the plug it's then. So Sunday. it's Sunday. Where? <laughs> Uh, I just found out they're going to stream it on CBC. I don't know if it's on the website or if, if, if it's live, but it's going to be on CBC. And if you're there in person, it is? Uh, it's, it's at uh, the Burlington City Hall. Uh, Burlington, Ontario. Yeah, Burlington, Ontario. Yeah. And it's free. Yeah, it's outside. Dress warm. Bring a candle. Yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be a jam. I like it. Um, Those bands are like, Daronauts are awesome if you don't know them. USS is great. The truck are like, like the truck, like the keyboard of the monster truck used to be the keyboard of the St. Alvia, like we're brothers. Right, right. Scott Hellman, that kid's rad. Bare Naked Ladies, like he does like a bit, like a bit of Bare Naked Ladies. You yeah. gotta, <laughs> everyone's got a Bare Naked Ladies chat. Right, right, right. One, the you first know? concert I, 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 I ever tell. went to when I was like six years old. Oh, Bare Naked I, Ladies. Right, right, right. Yeah. I get it. Uh, I got mistaken for the two <laughs> Bare Naked Ladies in Vancouver <laughs> at that same fucking Junos. <laughs> <laughs> glasses on. In an elevator. Somebody was like, I love your band. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate you it. Know, I was the team for Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> Go check out Bare Naked Ladies check featuring the not man. my man Ben over here. Yeah. He'll be there, too. Um, ben, you thought it was the party one with the hookers. <coughs> Any opportunity I can potentially enter you, enter you oh, in a little bit of some gummies from Products by Sex, yeah. potentially? Uh, also, also, you could definitely interest me. That I got that. some, Craig. Uh, uh, Marley, I know you just flew in recently, and boy, your arm's tired probably. <laughs> so there, I've got some CBD gummies. I've got everything from five milligrams all the way up to eight hundred milligrams of of all kinds of good products uh, that I found uh, at weeds. Dot, uh, g or weedsgg.ca and uh, products by Sec on Instagram. Um, many places that you can find products and information like this if you're looking mm -hmm. hard enough. I'm not telling you where or how to go or that you should, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, he's saying it, man. <laughs> Holy. Uh, so it's yeah, cool if you, you sit, it's cool when you freeze. <laughs> 
I what? Everybody freeze. <laughs> How stoned are you? So stoned. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been going the whole time. Did you black out for a second? I don't know. I might have been there is a weird energy in this room today. That is for sure. Is I thought I have. I, I felt a fucking cold. Like, <coughs> I got a little tickle at one point, but I'm trying to just power through the show. It's here. like the fucking others Ooh. in here, man. Dude, well, it's a, there's a lot <laughs> of people in town for the weekend. You never know who's stopping by Studio 710. It's an open house. Um, anyway, yes, uh, I, I just figured I could in interest you in something to snack on. I don't know if yeah. you... Yeah, yeah, what are we Marley, doing? do you like edibles at all? I like, I like are gummies, you familiar man. With the products of I don't want to pick I'm a brand over another brand. Do, do you like high dose, low dose, or any dose? Or do you like um, CBD? Right now, my edible tolerance is very low. I've been eating like a record low number of edibles. What about these 25 milligram strawberry fills CBD, no THC <laughs> edibles from Products by Whoa. Sec? They're delicious. Uh, are you awesome, dude? Are, are you a chocolate guy or a gummy guy? I'm fucking definitely a gummy guy. You gummy guy. Low <laughs> yeah. dose, medium yes. dose, high dose. Um, you can five I'll milligrams do high dose. at a yeah, time. Fuck, fucking high dose, dude. Yeah. Eight hundred milligrams. You feel like falling over? Yep. Eight hundred and one gummy. Yeah, oh, these are gonna help Bam. me. Out the, oh, these are gonna help me out of the plane home, dude. Dude, Good those are gonna night. fucking help you onto the floor. So I'm just gonna put yeah. these. Yeah. What are these? Are, are these like uh, what? Are, 800 of what? I, is it discipline? I'm confident I'm fucked. They Dude, are serious. A mess. Good night. Put these goodies back here. <laughs> so I'll that I'll I like like maybe three hours of being really high yeah. and then many hours right? of sleep. Uh, just saying, if you happen to be wanting some of those I wouldn't products. have that all in one go, personally. Some people, listen to you. Jeff unless you want to have like a time, time. Unless you want to find out why they call weed like a psychedelic. Like, that you is know, a massive you get, amount like, of that is You know what I mean? It's not a psychedelic experience, but it's like yeah. not like a normal weed high. That's to all me. the fucking weed right there. We should just, we should start a companion yeah, show. You, be, you better get a companion to fucking keep it keeping company. I've met people that like get high off like five milligrams. Of what? Of the dip? Some people. You know, 50s, 100s, 100s. If you don't have a tolerance we'll swap for edibles. Some point. Uh, uh, yeah, I think. Is this a safe one? I'm word? not saying don't oh, do it. Oh, am I eating it right now? We we would Oh, fuck. I gave you the guy pussies out. Give me that one. Well, hang on. <laughs> Wait a second. Where did you find the. Or you could always have like a bite where, and you probably uh, did, still get high. Did, um, did you want a dab here? instead? Oh, let's, let's get into both of them, man. Let's get right. into it. Well, right over there on the <laughs> table there, there's some products that I don't want to be that guy. Well, too. You know? Uh, well, well, let's do actually, a dab. You know I what? might cough. I it, cough when I do dab. It is dab time. It's okay. You'll be fine. Andrew, I could go for a dab as well, definitely. Some dude tried to light up inside the convention floor? Fucking asshole. Dab time. Dab time. Man, puffin'. What's going on, Big yeah. Dog? Welcome Hi, back, Chuck. man. Good to have you back in the studio with me for another edition of the show. Back yo, in 2019, bro. First one. Yo, happy New Year's. You have a good Happy one? holidays. Yeah, yo. 
Uh, like, are you talking about my New Year's Eve in specific or just the Well, holidays? first of all, you have a good Christmas, you have a good New Year's or whatever. Christmas was chills. It was, eh, you know, it was whatever. Mm-hmm. The holidays in general were really good. I had a really good time. And uh, New Year's I had a good time too, but. Did, did you do a show somewhere in there as well too? Or you, no? Did I do a show? I don't know, didn't you? I don't know, no, I can't I remember. But so. you used to do music. I, no, I did a lot of music. Though. I made a lot. lot of music. Maybe that's, that's what you've been sure. in the studio grinding. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I made a lot of music. Smoked a lot of weed. A lot of weed, man. It's a lot of weed. And you did, of course, you did a couple of shows as well, too, though. You did the show last week, or the Tuesday, a couple of days ago. Puff a podcast. You know, you oh, yeah. Show. Oh, yeah, on Pot TV. Yeah, yeah, that 4 one. 4 p.m. That's right, on Tuesdays. Pacific time, Tuesdays. Right. Yeah, we, uh, it was our first show back. We announced the winner for the video of the year Who won? contest. Uh, Too Tall with Steady Wyland. So. Well, congratulations yeah. to Tutal. We should get him here him. in the place to be. Yo, we right. should get him here. Right. He, he would love it here. He would <laughs> we love play the video here. on this show, too. <coughs> right? All he right. would love it here. He would love it here. <laughs> um, on the show today, man, we're going to be <laughs> dabbing products from the fine folks at Motocan. And right now, <laughs> they brought over some of this uh, stuff from Kind Selections, the Lime Tea Afghani. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Let me see. Switch to the right cam because there's like fucking nine of them. Mm. There we go. You know, focus this shit, blow it up so Andrew can see it. Oh, so many buttons to do here. Come on, hurry the fuck up. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that, that was looks cool. fucking delicious. Yeah. The lime tea Afghani from the folks at. Oh, almost be better. Than tea. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to be dabbing? That's what we're, I'm going to be dabbing this. There's also some of this for Backcountry Labs. There's some of this uh, uh, Master Kush Shatter as well, too. we got a few things to dab, that's for sure, man. Looking tasty. Mm. Well, I, I have some of the, the, the Backcountry of the pre-show oh. dab, so I'm definitely trying to get some of this right? lime tea Afghani. My oh, Lord. man. No, I'm mm. telling you, man, those kind of selections, folk, make it good. And, of course, uh, if you want to get these products, I mean, anybody can get these products. All you got to say is who can? You can. Moda can. <laughs> there we go. That's what it is, man. Mr. Music uh, Director, man. We got some music to play so we can take a dab to, don't we? We do, we do. Uh, this week's song is actually from an artist named Keemzy. It's Keemzy. called Brothers. Brothers by Keemzy. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. We're going to dab that. Um, wait. Isn't he, isn't he here, though? He's here in the place to be. Hey, Keemzy, bring him in, man. Come on, come on in, big up, man. Come on up. What's going on, dog? Welcome to the show. Come on, get, let him in between here. Oh. Parker, you got out of the way, damn it. You're ruining the shot. Uh, welcome to Studio 710. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming through, man. Thanks. Thanks for having me. How you guys doing? Good, man. Uh, just getting high, hanging out. Can I interest you in one of these? Of it's dab time, but you know, still smoking weed on here. Still, I think we're at yeah. like 80 right now so far, Andrew. Oh, I think wow. there's more to come. I got a feeling that there's more happening here. Um, what is happening, though, we're going to play your track. We're going to play the, uh, the song from, uh, from you called Brothers. Um, but... I just got one question. Am I confused, or are you, or are you not cousins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you got that right. But you know, brothers, cousins. It's, 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 all, it's, all, it's all the same. It's okay. all family. It's you all know? the same. The, so, song, the song is for everyone. I'm just curious if your mom put you up to this at like Christmas <laughs> dinner or some shit. Because I know when I was away at Emerald Cup, I know you playing your own music and shit in there. Hey, I had to. Now you, now you, now you got scheduled in bringing your family into the in the mix. Nepotism. <laughs> At work, <laughs> my man, folks. My man, I love it. Do you think, dog? Man, plug, 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 plug. Uh, all right, well then, set it up for us, man. Uh, tell us about the track. Like, how did it come about? What's it about? You know, the track basically came about. It's all about all my brotherhoods, right? With all my friends, other than the, other than the family at home, it's just my boys, right? Cool. Been around for, since we came up, so it's basically about same goals, same mother, different mothers, right? Awesome, man. Well, we'll check out that video. We check out some dabs. Andrew, you got that video ready. Y'all got some dabs down there. There's some backcountry labs down there. That maple leaf extract is good down there. I'm not sure if y'all dab heavy right now, but feel free to go right ahead. Hit that. I'm going to dab this, too, because, you know, (coughs) all I can say is it's dab time. Andrew, let's play the track Brothers by my man Keem Dean. Of course, if you want to uh, check the video as well, to the link is down in the YouTube description. Andrew, hit it. I'm in the Chester with my brothers. Yeah, same goals, different mugs. Same goals, yeah. Mugs, yeah. yeah, we all got each other. Yeah, we all got yeah. each other. Can't count me on when I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. Yeah. I'm in the Chester <laughs> with my brothers. I'm in the Chester with my brothers. <laughs> same goals, different mugs. Same goals, different mugs. Yeah, we all got each other. Yeah, we all got each other. Can't count me on when I'm a hustler. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants to shout out the back of a guy. So the fuck can have some peace of mind yeah, We ain't the same, I'm a different kind If you mix, don't make you better Then you wasting time
Keep it moving, keep improving, show them that I'm better. Bitches choosing, keep it moving, got to chase the chatter. Yeah, shot with me, she a go getter. And yeah, she know that I'm a G like the fucking letter. Yeah, man on the road, I got to stick it to Things be nasty like a road and call them pick and choose. Only stick that straight love when I'm in the pool. Still with my day ones, I'm never switching crews. I'm in the shit, yeah, yeah, with my brothers. Right yeah, there. same goals, different mugs. Got my thing posted by my side that's gon' solve them Yeah, if it ain't about the pay, bet that combo I'm out your flex and tryna fall like the nigga Lonzo Yeah, the niggas playing on my downfall Bunch of fuck boys and straight snitches be around y'all Every time boys started from the bottom Bring the competition, I ain't trippin', man, I got them I'm just bidding how I'm living Living in this life of sin, I pray I ain't forgiven ending there Andrew thanks for the warning <coughs> you could have you could have counted me in bro I do got a earpiece you know <laughs> God damn it. Um, <coughs> okay so now I'm not coughing on my man's face yo track is dope the track is called brothers thank you for playing it with us man if you want to see the actual unadulterated video without the coughing and the us uh, smoking in and out in between check it out the link is down on YouTube uh, also the Instagram is keemsy.bk and uh, any shows, tours, events? We got, show. okay. we, got, we, got, we, got, we got a show coming up. We have a show coming up January uh, 21st at Fortune Sound Club. Fortune, Fortune Sound Club? Yeah. I think that's what it's called. Dope. Yeah, it's a release party for my associate, Baby Fresh Production. He's releasing it. It's an album release party for him. So Fine. we're going to be performing a whole bunch of different songs. <laughs> I'm going to get your tickets, you know. It's going to be a lit right. show. Get the plug, man. Uh, that's what's up, man. Of course, Puffa as well, too. You know, obviously, Tuesday, you got the uh, you got the show coming 4 up. 4 p.m., yeah. <laughs> Check Special it out. Special guest. You can't tell you now, but don't come and tune in. Um, oh. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. What? I actually got an announcement. No, oh. no. We're actually, we're actually taking a little bit of a hiatus. Mm. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of a hiatus. You know, because, oh, okay. uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's you know, times are, times are, you know, uh, our, di our director could be uh, using his uh, time to be doing some uh, okay. other things at this particular time, you know, All right. more important things. So we're going to take a hiatus. Uh, we're going to be back on February 5th, I believe. Cool. So, take a couple weeks yeah. off, do some shit. Yeah, you know. Well, we'll see you back here next week anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Shows, events, things you want to plug, music, album, uh, January 19th. That's the one. 604's Finest, my new project, drops everywhere. Uh, if you want to look fresh like me, gtown604.com. Detail, detail. Lord, yeah. Lord Geezy on Lord Instagram. Lord Geezy on Instagram. Too, yeah, yeah, you know. Well, shit, yeah. that's Tuesday. Up next, though, here, we gotta learn how I, we gotta do the segment How I Roll and learn how Mike rolls. You know, Mike from Smokers Guy. Big fucker, long beard. <laughs> roll the intro, Andrew. <laughs> Thanks for being man. We appreciate it. Okay, you guys go.
because it's usually me doing most of the role, and I figured I'd see who our guests roll. Now, one of them's name is Tweedledoob, so that's kind of a fucking no-brainer. Is he there, Todrick? He's dancing gracefully behind the scenes. Okay, he almost broke it. Uh, but also, my man, from Mike from Smoker's Guide. Oh, yeah. See you, brother. In the place to be now. You're known for telling people where to go to get weed yeah, like and giving them hookups and know everybody everywhere. And got the got the guide. Where's the guide? In your pocket. This guide. <laughs> this guide. Ding. Yes, we got one of these available as well too. Camera, this one. Um, yeah, the Smokers Guide as well too available. Smokersguide.com, Smokers Guide Canada edition as well too, amongst many other places. Hey, look, there's the website right there. Uh, your handy little pocket guide to what's going on in a uh, weed-friendly location near you, essentially. Whoever knows what's going on these days, right? <laughs> we just making it up as we go, we much like yeah. on this show. It's yeah. kind of an impromptu show. There's a lot of fucking people on this show. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, again, my, my seat time. feels warm. I don't... Yeah. Something weird. Um, anyway, uh, you're known to roll a pretty good joint. We smoke a lot of joints at the events. You, you got your particular style. Tweedledoob's got her style. I kind of want to see how two of my favorite rolling people, or my people out there, shouts to Toronto. I, I want to see how you guys roll. But of course, I want to catch up. Mike, how are things with you? Everything well? You been good? Oh, yeah, I know. Everything's great, actually. Yeah, it's uh, good to be back here. Always, always good to come visit. Never, never miss a chance to drop by the studio. I love you. Let's turn this back up a little bit here. Sorry. I'll go this way. Right, yep. Uh, yeah, always good to stop by the studio. I love what you guys have done. Uh, we're really enjoying the green room. That's still can't uh, hear pretty you. slick. Huh? Let me see your microphone. Oh. oh, got it. There we go. There we go. Sorry, switch it around. Sorry, Andrew. Break it up as we go. Yeah, the green room's really come along, yeah, right? We made yeah. up quite the additions to there since we've happened. The patio still looks the same. We'll get there by the summer. Yeah, Maybe next yeah. time you come back, we'll yeah. have some like, trees out there. Yeah. Um, no, always a pleasure to have you here. And of course, I got some of the smoker guides on the shelf. People ask me, can I get those? If people want to get them, you, the smokersguide.com website is the place to go. But obviously, there's all, all sorts of content. Yeah, we know we're actually on Amazon now, too. You can get the, we've, we've always had the, the Amsterdam edition available on, Am mm -hmm. uh, on Amazon, but now we can actually you can get the uh, Smoker's Guide Canada edition on uh, Amazon as well too and uh, hopefully we'll have the updated version ready to go this summer again um, if this country can ever figure out which way they're going with the legalization I mean we we, we love to publish it we, you know, we yeah. ended up publishing two books before anything even became legal and we were hoping to publish the first one as legalization came in and right. and like, like I said you know let's, let's see what happens but you know legalization yeah, yeah it's it's <laughs> we're trying to remain positive on it because obviously you know we can there's two sides to every coin, and depending on how you want to look at it, and we come from, you know, that, that bubble that feels very protective of, of good weed yep. and our culture, and mm -hmm. we see a lot of vultures fucking hovering. There's, I realize there's, you know, it's going to get figured out in time to some degree, but in the meantime, let's get on with how I roll, roll, shall we? The punches. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> exactly. Roll on with the punches, man. Well, I'm glad to have you back, because you're here for the trade show, I guess, too. Hang on. Yeah, out yeah. Day. Go to check things out, as always. Well, I've obviously, check out the website, check him out, and let's check out how they roll. And, um, yeah, oh, your mic keeps cutting out. Let's get him on that. Well, it's going to be difficult for his mic to uh, stop cutting am I, out. Am I shutting it off or something? I don't know. It seems to be just, maybe if we just put it out here for I a second. I seem to remember the last time I was bit, here. Yeah, I had some technical like difficulties. That. Yeah, that's already better. Let's leave it like that. Perfect. Perfect. All, All right. right. Um, speaking of handheld, though, I see somebody over there who knows a thing or two about rolling, who probably knows a thing or two about a handheld Yay. mic as well, too. <laughs> Grab that mic and come. Uh, <coughs> there's a wireless there's a wireless right there. Grab that and come grab a seat. We'll get a supervisor here with us just to add to the fucking pressure. I heard there was some joy rolling going on. Ladies and gentlemen, surprise guest from Fukushima Pre-Roll Factory, the one and only Dan. What's going on, man? <laughs> Not much. How's everybody doing? Good, man. Almost as tall, but bigger beard. The mustache, though, man. I mean, I don't know how you got that through the staircase up here, bro. That thing is getting crazy by itself. They let you through customs without that? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, like the rest of me. Jesus, man. Well, ridiculous is the new packaging for the new Fukushima mm -hmm. Pru Rolls that you got going on here, man. Throw one of those this way, Absolutely. man. See if we can yeah, zoom up on that, or you hold one up or something. Give everybody a some. Here. Hey. Yeah, we're pumped to have our new packaging. It, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily meet the government plain package guidelines, but it, it's pretty flashy. Yeah, but I like it. It's Absolutely. way better. Nice. Tamper-resistant label, and then a child-resistant uh, tube as well. We uh, not because we think... Thought. Uh, it's child resistant now because we think it's harmful to children. We just don't think they deserve to have that much fun when they're that young. So stay out of the moon rockets, kids. <laughs> can we get a close up on one of the cameras here so we can see it? Or zoom in on this one? Yeah, whatever, one of them. 
I want to show how cool what he's talking about here. The new look of the new Fukushima pre-rolls. Uh, very cool. Well, what else you can't get from anybody, regardless of what the packaging might look like? Um, you, okay, steady. Yep, there it is. And now I'll turn it. There you go. Um, what you actually get in here is actually good weed, which is something you can't get in most packaging with a lot of uh, childproof warnings on it. We proudly source Vancouver Island bud. It all comes from the side of the uh, Rockies, so uh, yeah, we are very particular about what we use, and we've actually. Up, upgraded and switched from using uh, distillate. Now we use uh, terp sauce. Terp sauce. So there's an extra little kick to the moon rockets to uh, keep things a little more interesting. Sauce. Well, I think you and I should smoke on one of those, and then the winner gets a couple of them. We have many that we will make sure the winner gets. Sorry. And I got some comatose from the medicinal cannabis dispensary. TMCD604 on Instagram seems to come to mind for some reason. I, every time I associate myself with this particular jar of weed, it should be just a weird mental block. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, though, if you guys want to use some of that for how I roll, I'm going to sit here and supervise, and while we kind of go through it, there's two trays, there's two grinders, there's two scissors, there's all the papers you need. Marley. I got all my stuff. You got it. You're all ready to go. She's already ready to go. Mike, you get ready. It's not like a competition for fastest or anything like that. Uh, I just I kind of want to know how and why and what you do. So how I roll, basically, <coughs> goes to see, uh, the question is, is, both of you at the same time, we take turns, alternating answers, whatever. Uh, rolling blunts or joints? Joints for me. The joints. Joints, joints. joints. Yeah. yeah. Big joints. Uh, <laughs> style of joint, like cones or long kings, or what's your trademark? Mine's sort of cone-ish. It's not perfectly straight, but it also doesn't go super skinny at the end. But I You're more always a battle, use a more club. More of the club. Yeah, I, I guess. like it. I like it, uh, Mike. You're uh, you're a king size black. Right? I'm just yeah. I'm just a fan of the of the old duchy. I mean, uh, you know, but was it back in 2000, whatever, 15, 12, whatever years ago? Yeah. My first trip to Amsterdam, I was rolling those little Canadian joints, and I still remember going to my first coffee shop and having to ask them for, you know, some regular Canadian size papers because everything they had was these huge things. And then I saw one guy just walk in and roll one of these big duchies, and he did it up in about 30 seconds, you know? Mm -hmm. I was impressed watching that thing. And, and, and so anyway, I had to learn how to roll one of those, and it's kind of been that way. Kind of been that way ever since. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, uh, your choice of papers. Uh, Tweedle, what's your go-to? Um, I'm on the regular if you're going out to buy them from the store, per se. I used to smoke pretty much exclusively smoking browns. Yep. I still enjoy them. I like elements, like mm -hmm. the rice paper. Yeah. As long as it's like not flavored and it's really light, pretty I'm good not super fussy about it. Right. Um, and Mike, as I, as I said, I, I know you to smoke a smoking black king. Uh, blacks or silver has always been, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what you go to. Yeah, yeah. I like the black ones. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, same paper as the silver, just a wider profile. One's yep. a 44, one's a 37. Um, obviously, Dan likes cones. 98, 26. Mm -hmm. 98 millimeter, 26 millimeter filter. There you go. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's his preferred one. <laughs> Automated. One of this one. <laughs> Automated. So I got, I got the greens are, greens are sativa, <laughs> the, the purple, dark, they're the, they're the indicas. Well, I'm going to crack one of these fuckers right now. Feel free to light one up if you need to, man. Yeah, I was going to show you my rolling technique. Oh, you, yeah, your rolling technique, yeah. Wait, does this, let's get this. Did you catch that? Yeah, okay. I, I can do it twice. Now I'm talking to my knee. Okay, <laughs> ready? Watch, watch Dan's rolling technique. Wait, wrong camera shot. Wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. There you go. Oh, man. Just unbelievable. You guys have to. <laughs> just unbelievable. That is fucking just there. something I've almost never seen before. Fastest rolling joint roll ever. And it's already fucking got Keith on it and all kind of stuff. Jesus, peace, man. Sauce. You really killed it over there. I think you guys lost. Yeah. <laughs> this joint will be done by the time you got in. Wow, Dan wins. All right, so as a close second, we're going for here now at this point. Uh, Fukushima Pre-Roll Factory, or getfook.ca, is, uh, is what this package says to me. I, I don't know if, if anyone would want to go check my, uh, if I got that right. Let's see, did I spell it? G-E-T-F-U-K-D dot C-A. Hmm. You might want to go check for yourself if that's an actually a valid web page with information about this fine product or not. I, I <coughs> couldn't say that it actually was. Dan might be able to, but. I think it's legit. You think it's legit? You're Rumors hey? somewhere. How do I? I have a photo shoot, though, with the new packaging, though. It'll be old packaging. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, really old pictures. Ah. We definitely have to update that. <laughs> update that website. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Gonna smoke the shit out of this one. 
Mm. All right, so we've got 80, 81, and 82. We've got 83 and 84 being rolled. It's, I think there were, it smells like 85. I think mm -hmm. I detect the odor of one extra joint for some reason. That's weird to me. Maybe the crew was smoking. I, I don't know. Something, something odd. Something. Yes. In one second, I'm almost done. Yeah. Right? So, Mike with the big one. This is cool to be on. They're both sort of rolled on a large size joint. Toronto. You've. Yeah, I think I had a little too much coffee before the show. <laughs> and a lot I of feel dabs. Shaky too. Now that I've said it, Made I feel a mess. Really shaky. <laughs> Under pressure. Right? Uh, also, oh, questions. I should do it while I got distracted just watching you guys there for a second. Filter or no filter? Always a filter. filter. Always filter. Roll the filter. Right <laughs> uh, do you any roll any novelty or creative joints at all, or just the classic? Just the classic. I mean, smokable. You can. <laughs> my but standard joint is like a bit smaller than this, right. and it just like the bigger it gets, the longer it takes, and really at a certain point, anything over a couple grams. It kind of doesn't start to taste so good after yeah. a while. Like it just tastes like burning. Yeah. So it's like no, I'd rather sense. just roll more reasonably sized mm -hmm. joints, and it tastes good the whole Re way. Remo says the same thing. He would rather roll two larger, two small, medium, you know, medium but joints. But Remo's medium one. joints are <laughs> like <laughs> the size they of breakfast sausages. No they are mind. supercharged with <laughs> fucking gorilla fingers. Speaking yeah. of gorilla fingers, Dana Larson with those giant fucking joints he rolls as well, too, was over there just a minute ago. I think I saw him down the halls. Everybody's around this weekend. Uh, much to hear about from them. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, do you, how did you learn to roll? Uh, ladies first in this case. Where did it start for you? Lots of practice, I guess. Joints were, I never really smoked bongs or pipes when I was first introduced to it. It was always joints, so that was just kind of... Once I started smoking on my own, I was like, well, I guess I got to figure out how to roll a joint. Right. And they were very terrible at first. <laughs> but it's been <coughs> like over 15 years now of practice. So, You're doing it. Yeah, this is not my finest work, but even the bad ones at this point are like fine. Uh, Mike, when, where did you learn to roll? <laughs> well, like I said, I was, you know, the Canadian toothpick joint mm -hmm. roller, as always, like back in the day. But no, uh, I learned in Amsterdam, actually, from a good friend of mine who was uh, a, a, a bud tender at, at Barney's Lounge. And I right. just told him on the just one all trip, the bud I said, everywhere. that's it, that's it. And, and I said, I got to learn how to roll a proper Dutchie. And so he, he showed me the inside out. The, yeah. the, you know, if you get the big wide papers, how to roll it inside out right. and do the flaming backflip, we call it. You can burn yep. it off, what you don't want. And then. Obviously, you know, this the proper. So you got, yeah, so before you light it, but we want to wait and want to see side I was going to say, just the big thing with the Dutchie really is just rolling it with the filter in your roll. You're rolling right. that filter right in and it just. And it typically has a bit of a coated shape, typically. Yeah. Not always, maybe. The, yeah, it, it's, it's all based on the filter. I right. went a little thick because right. I wanted right. to roll a nice, you know, big fat joint. You're actually can, you can rolling very similar <laughs> joints. Yeah, yeah. like that kind of looks like my joint. Let me pass them suckers over here for a minute. Mine's like not the best. That's all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead. It's quite. Quite awesome. They're both very similar. <laughs> I don't know how, let's I see, Todd, can we get a close-up on this one here, Tom? So yours has a little bit more of a, a, a little bit more of a curve to it. Mine does probably, right? It's so close. He's got that nice little gift wrapping look on the top. Second like <laughs> <I> tried, <laughs> like tried to do them the same. I wasn't like even face. watching. Right? Uh, this too is much? tasty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that works. All right, so. Um, oh, I was just about to do it. All right, push, man, this one, this right. one here then, this one. Uh, this one was Tweedles down here. And uh, this one is Mike's. Very similar size, using different papers, but uh, fun end result. So you guys are about, about the same amount of weed. His is just a little <laughs> bit of a taper. Your filter's marginally longer. Very nice. Uh, any special techniques that you guys use in, in particular that you, like you said, some people do the flaming backflip. You put filters in first. What is your, like, little... Your personal little touch on it. Uh, for me, it's really like I said. It's it's pre-making that proper little filter with a nice little bend in it, you right. know, and just getting it so it's not too tight. It's got a little spring in it, and when you roll it in, it's really just about just massaging the weed and just getting it mm. to the right bit. And you don't have to worry about getting these joints tight. That's the whole nice thing about rolling that that right. that 
that filter in with the joint is even when it's loose, it just packs down nicely and then twist up the end and you got a nice <coughs> tight joint. But it's, it's all based on the filter. You yeah, because you're basically at that point, you're rolling your joint to the size of the filter. And That's I got to say, mm -hmm. this joint that I'm burning over here is very well put together, man. You, mm -hmm. you, I'm quite happy with it. The Fukushima pre-rolls, out of all of the pre-rolls that I have smoked that are commercially available, when I have a pile of them laying on my desk, I will sometimes smoke a Fukushima pre-roll <laughs> even instead of rolling my own joints. And that's a big deal because oh, yeah. you're not a big fan of cones to begin no. with. So I'm not a big fan of cones. I'm I not a big fan of pre-rolls. That's the exact same And thing. I will go out of my way to deliberately smoke a Fukushima. Yeah. There's the most committed crew of people yeah. making those joints in terms of the quality and consistency. So what I, that's what one I'm thing that I'm very proud of. Yeah. It's, it's the radioactive bore delivery is the special touch to me. Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. Like, you, no one puts that level of commitment because, first of all, it's the whole hazmat situation that you got to deal with in the first place, which just elevates it to another level. And then the fact that, you know, you, dogs and kids, I mean, it's, it, boars can't be easy to work with, really, for the most part. So, um, But all the team behind it, everybody over there at the Fukushima factory doing it deserves a lot of credit. And everybody who put this new packaging together as well, definitely well put together. <laughs> uh, I will definitely give you that, man. The best pre-roll in the game. Uh, that said, uh, Marley, uh, yourself, any special techniques that you use, something that you do different or the same? Or? I don't know if I could say it any better than Mike did. You're I, a filter in first, a, too. Yep. Yeah? I don't know. Um, I would say <coughs> just, like, having patience <coughs> to, like, do it properly. I think a lot of people's, like, bad joints is they just like kind of half-ass it and then they're just like, eh, good yeah. enough, and then they yeah. just smoke it. I'm like, if you had spent like two more minutes just kind of like maybe breaking the weed up more or like, like Mike said, massaging it in and kind of making right. it nice and even. Yeah, right. there's something about the anticipation of, of rolling <coughs> that joint. Like, I mean, I love Fukushima's and I'm the same way. I get them laying around and I'll pull them out every once in a while. Oh, and yeah. It's just like, yeah, let's let's fire that one up because oh, yeah. I know it's going to be a good smoke down, right? Yeah, man. It, it, let me but when you get together with people and you're rolling a joint too, there's something about, you know, bringing in, hey, I got this new bud, let's check this out, you know, and actually sitting down in the process of rolling it and enjoying it. It's like, I enjoy it's like the cooking. Process. You know, it's sure, like yeah. waiting for it, smelling it, enjoying the whole process, you know. I also agree, though, it is, in, it is a lot in about how you, uh, how you form it in the first place. If you, um, if you let it take its shape to where it needs to go, you will have... Oh, it's all too smoky in there to see it. Ah. Um, look at this. There. There it is. <laughs> There's the actual ash on the Fukushima pre-roll. Mm -hmm. Right there. Awesome. Nice. Under the scope. Doing it. Looks like snow. Right? <laughs> like a little snow cone. Awesome. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That uh, looks awesome. <laughs> right? That does look awesome. That nice ring of distillate or sauce right there. Just keeping right? ahead of it. It's not running. Oh, man. That's pretty. Once we pack the joint, there's 10 steps before we put that in the tube. So. Uh, and the 11th step like is love. <laughs> Eleven. What the eleventh step is love? love. Yeah. He's like, no, actually, that's number creepy, four. Creepy. <laughs> I told you the tenth step. We got already written down. It's creepy, all she knew. Creepy, creepy love. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Well, uh, I appreciate it, man. This is definitely a, a good time. Great little smoke sesh. Appreciate y'all showing us how y'all roll. Light those joints up, man. Let's get more of these around. Um, definitely, uh, Indica or Sativa, girl? Sativa, always. There you Thank go. You Mike, so you get the Indica there. Yeah, sure. Are you, are, are you a Sativa guy? I'm a Sativa guy. But I'm here you go. I'll trade you because I'm an Indica guy. There you there go. go. I'll take this. Um, uh, Puffa, Indica or Sativa? I'm into it. Thank you. Here you go. Parker, there you go. Parker, you don't get into conjoints, like man. <laughs> he likes hybrids. The <laughs> um, that said, uh, check out Mike.Smoker'sGuide on Instagram. Uh, any plugs, shout outs, things Gosh. we need to know? Uh, you know, just check us out on smokersguide.com as well. And, and uh, you know, check out our videos on YouTube and give us a like. We love them. We, you know, we love to see the comments. And get fook.ca. That's the one. We don't have Absolutely. it up probably, but. On Instagram, Fukushima <laughs> Pre-Roll Factory. Is get fooked not available? Yeah, it's available, <laughs> but I'm waiting till the Instagram police catch up with us, and then we'll go to the Get Fooked one. So you can go to getfooked.ca on Instagram, and that'll, that'll follow us, as, or you can follow Dude. us that way as well. <laughs> Wherever you can get fine products, you'll be able to find these. And if you can't, get more information at getfooked.ca would be just somebody else's suggestion. 
I would just say it's time for the favorite four to move on because you've answered it. <laughs> Marley, you haven't answered it. And Ben's around here somewhere, too. We need to get him back in here because it's time for the favorite four. Thanks for being here, Dan. I'll I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having me. Andrew? <coughs> All set. There you go, Ben. How's that? How's that products by Set Gummy treating you? Oh, it was fucking awesome. Man. Delicious. It was delicious. <laughs> uh, I have much. Just to I can't wait to have more. Mm, lovely. <laughs> uh, well, I got four more questions for you here. Okay. They're the favorite four. I asked yeah. everybody who's on the show. How when did you get into weed? Um, well, my first time trying weed, I was, think I was 12 at a Tragically Hip concert in Carlisle, Ontario, but I didn't really hey, expect... Such an Ontario <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I didn't really get in it, in, into weed like until a few years later, when I was 15 or 16. Mm. That's when I started smoking bots behind the arena. Do you know what bots are? <laughs> Never mind. Bottle tokes. <laughs> Bottle tokes, yeah, yeah. It's like an Ontario thing. It's super, like we're skids in Ontario. It's all got our tin cans and shit. We're good. Whatever. Uh, uh, Tweedle, I don't think, now you've been on the show, but I don't think I was asking these regularly, routinely back yes. in that era. So, question to you how and when did you get into weed? Where did you first start? I f didn't try it until I was like 15, 16, but I didn't really get into it until I was like 18. Um, and just have been going strong just since. Gone, <laughs> uh, every just minute. Crushing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. crushing it. And yeah, you are crushing the game out there. Definitely someone to follow in the, in the, in the uh, scene for sure at Tweedledoob everywhere and the dot com and all that stuff as well. I think Andrew will probably pop up a link somewhere later in the show. Uh, but for right now, question two. <laughs> Dan's dooms are the best fucking shit. This right? These are, they're really good, man. Like no so joke good. for a pre-roll from someone to get from th the they, most they don't consistent pre-roll. It's right? always good. Always consistent. Always right? burns perfectly. Uh, your preferred method of consumption: bong. joints, bongs, down. bongs, bong, bong tones. Always, yeah, bongs. Bong tones. Since hits for the bong, right? Since so, Cypress Hill's Black Sunday, just <laughs> 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 bongs ever since. <laughs> I really, <laughs> I really agreed with Cypress Hill at that time. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. Tweedle, I don't even need to ask. You're not Tweedle. You're not Tweedle bongs. Yeah. You're not. You're not Tweedle. Definitely. Lisa, you're not Tweedle dabs. No. No. Uh, I used tweedle. to dab more. Yep. I don't really dab so much. I'm good. I'm you already got one right there. To, like, mm -hmm. right, I don't mean to try. No, it's, it's okay. all good. Force a habit. Um, I, hand, yeah, I hand joints to sometimes the people who have joints going. It's crazy like that. Um, how much do you <laughs> consume? Are you like an every day, all day? Uh, you you smoke from the time you get up and go to bed? Are you once in a while a couple tokes here and there? What's your sort of like consumption ritual? Oh yeah, shit, Ben, sorry. sorry. My consumption ritual? Yeah, I get up like at five a.m. every day, and just crush a couple bongs, and then fucking start working, man. And that's that's yeah. the go. Yeah, and then I go to like midnight. Yeah, I like where, I like my job, so I, just, I can smoke bongs like just all day, dude. I don't know. <laughs> So uh, it's not, not really calculated. There's not much titration going on yeah, with, just, with my regimen. Just like, I just go. Just, I just crush the bongs. I, I, I do uh, uh, Harry's Honey Pot. I'm like, a, I don't, like, don't want to force a thing, but I do have Harry's Honey Pot every morning. And I don't want to say that I, I totally exclude LPs. I do take uh, Shubi Oil or Decanogram as well. Every, like, that's my regimen currently. And that, that stuff really, I'm doing good. You know, I, I can get the winter blues like everybody. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And I got a good regimen going right now. But lots of bongs always. That's the one consistent thing. Uh, Everything else kind of comes and goes. Dubs of plenty. Tweedle. Yeah, my daily use does fluctuate. Like it just depends on what I'm doing that day because I You're busy do as fuck. a lot of different things. And like, what if I'm doing photography? I can smoke a joint often while I'm doing it, and it's like part of the process. But there's other things. If I'm working on a spreadsheet or something, mm -hmm. like I might not get high all day, right. and then whatever it depends. But a couple grams a day, I would say average. The uh, the other question I like to ask is the fourth one there as we look at it and there's got to be something that stands out as like the most memorable bag of all time you look back at all the weed and one has to stand out as like the best mm. bag ever or and if you never saw it again we call it the one that got away but but what's yours Ben um, mine would actually not be weed it would be hash that I smoked in Basque Spain and it was just like it was a cultural thing the hash was beautiful like families were like sitting around drinking wine and smoking hash together while kids like played soccer you know in a in a beautiful like court, you know, so that like I've always wanted to experience that again, you know, because it was part of the vibe and it was just everything. But that would be that would be the one I would go. <laughs> That's the one, hands down. Uh, Basque Spain is beautiful. 
Uh, Twiddle? Um, I want to do what he's smoking. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting because I couldn't think of anything, and then I was like, you know what? It was last year in Spanibus in Barcelona. Oh. Um, some key lime. I regret only buying a gram, but we were like going to a bunch of different shops and like just trying a bunch of different stuff. And it was somewhere I wanted to go back to and get more of, and I didn't. So it is the bag that got away. But I've just never had a lime strain here that was really limey, and mm -hmm. I'm a big sativa fan, and like I like anything lemony, but it was just something different. Mm -hmm. It was tasty and yeah. There might be some lime tea Afghani around here that's pretty good. I think like, there's something kicking up back there. But uh, but yeah, no, I seem to remember something about that key lime from going there with uh, Ali Alchemist and uh, and Enrico. Uh, uh, we ran into him over there. They of course won uh, for some past new product over there. Actually, you know, I haven't seen Al in in quite a while. Now that I think about it, I'll have to give him a shout. Uh, anyway, no, I do appreciate you guys sharing. Um, yeah. and that is the favorite for simple questions, but I got to ask everybody who do that. And I also yeah. appreciate the efforts of everyone over at Cannabis Life Network for put, following me around at the Emerald Cup last month, mm -hmm. where we went down there. It was our third time, the 15th annual event. It was wet, but dope. But well, you'll see as our out and about video at the Emerald Cup makes its debut after this short break. Nice. What's up? It's me, Craig X, down here outside the Emerald Cup. That's right, down here at the Sonoma County Fairgrounds. We're here with Cannabis Life Network. This is the 15th annual edition of the event here. It's weed and seeds and grow gear and people, entertainers. Come on inside. You'll see. It's dope. The man, the myth, the legend, the dude who started this all. Not bad from going from a backyard barbecue to 20 some thousand people in a fairgrounds, eh? Put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Tim Blow! It's an unbelievable moment. Yesterday was stunning. The energy of the crowd was like the best I've ever felt. 
And uh, so the whole community coming together, and it's just it's, it's humbling to be part of it. Bigger and badder than ever. It's a very, very cool experience this year. The whole community is part of it. PacX, uh, all the big sponsors and vendors, everybody coming in here, all the workers, everybody holds the energy up. It's infectious. People from out of town come in and feel like they're included in the whole thing. And it just becomes one big happy family. We were wondering how we'd expand the Emerald Cup outside of the Emerald Triangle. And we included Sonoma County, and then we included the rest of the state. And now we're just going to include the whole world. And it's going to be this community we take out and show people. If you're legally stoned, say hell yeah! One of the great features about the Emerald Cup 2018 is all these different booths are connected one to another to another. You can walk from the VIP area to one of the vendor area, and oh, when you get to the vendor area, it's heaven. All the weed, all the seeds, everything you need, extracts in the whole nine, definitely the place to be. Yeah, man, there's a lot of good weed floating around, a lot of good people floating around. Big vibes, Emerald Cup 2018. And a lot of big music came up from you as well this year, too. Yeah, I dropped three albums, man, three solo albums. I got a bunch of music coming in. Jonah from the Dab Stars, what's going on, brother? You know what, this has always kind of been uh, cannabis's birthday party, if you will. In, in the beginning, it was disguised as a birthday party. People would meet in secret, and it was a much smaller thing. So to see it at this scale is pretty wild, and everyone's kind of come out for it. Oh, Kevin Smith. Thanks to the good folks at Chemist man. Uh, we're doing a line of, of flour pre-rolls and whatnot called uh, Jay and Silent Bob's uh, Private Stash. Thank you. And this is what they look like. It's adorable. Our pictures are on it, man. Here with us at the event is one of the legends of the cannabis game, the one only Boston George himself. An old man, 76 years old, and this is mind-boggling. Now everybody's walking around smoking. And it's a good thing that it wasn't illegal in my days because I wouldn't be Boston George. <laughs> you, know, you guys are the future and you're the movement and make it happen and make it federally legal. There's a lot of kids in jail doing time right now for pot. And take some of this pot money and get them out because they don't belong there. Craig X down here at the Emerald Cup 2018 with my man Greg from Cannabis Capes, man. Now, exactly what is Cannabis Capes? Uh, it is my way to change the perception around cannabis and create conversations that hopefully lead to change. And his way of doing it is very, very cool. He makes art out of weed. Very, very fucking cool, man. How did you get into this? I was, I was high, a joint went out, I put it down on a piece of paper that had some other nugs on it, and I came back and I looked at it and I thought it looked like a winter scene. So I drew a little doodle on it and I took a photo, sent it to my friends, and they were entertained, so I did, a, did it again, and it just kind of evolved from there. And then one day, I post a picture on Burner's birthday, he reposts it, Instagram blows up, he sends me a DM. And two weeks later, I'm on a plane to LA to reshoot the, the picture, and he wants to use his album cover. Craig S. down here at the Emerald Cup 2018 with my man Custom Pro 420. What's going on, brother? Hey, yeah. I thank you so much for taking a minute to stop and talk to us, man. I know you must be enjoying yourself down here. Absolutely, man. We just got here getting the lay of the land, man, checking out the people. Already got to smoke on some really good stuff, man. Craig S. with the man, Scott Martin down here at the Emerald Cup 2018, and you're the dude with the leaf blower full of weed, yeah? Yes, sir, I am that guy. It's called the Kush Cannon. That's fucking badass. So basically, you light this on fire and get the whole fucking place high. We do a hot box outside. I like to share with all my friends here some delicious indoor form cookie. You guys ready to get high? Yeah. Holy moly, it's Frenchie Cannoli. Ooh la la, we're at the Emerald Cup 2018 with the man himself. What do you think of this year's uh, entries with the Mr. Judge? The, the entries were quite impressive, huh? I have to say. And I, I'm not really a specialist in Rosin, but it, uh, it really uh, shows a high level of quality. But all, all, all the board is like, they were very, they were too simple that were not really at the level of the rest. Everything else was like, wow. 
This is one only Trippy Trees. What's going on, girl? Hey guys, what's up? Nice to see you guys here at Emerald Cup in California. So I'm with Ilion. Um, they're a cultivation site actually up in Sonoma County. So they're based out here. I noticed that little necklace you got on there as well too. That's one of those super limited blunted objects, Trippy Trees necklaces, yeah? Yeah, so we just dropped this actually like about a week ago and then we sold that immediately. I had to drop a second one. So I'm just selling it if you want to get it. To grow good weed, you gotta have a good grow room. And with me, Eric from Canon Mechanical, and well, they build grow rooms. What's going on, boss? It's been a great outcome. I really enjoy being here. This is our first year here, and we, uh, we've met a lot of new faces and really enjoy it. Micah from Leaf down in the, although his shirt says Heady. He's a heady dude, and there's a lot of Leafs around here. I tell you that much down here. The Emerald Cup 2018, what's going on, boss? Uh, not much, just uh, having a good time, trying to you know show people new products and, and uh, just meet new people. My man, John Sally. Oh, jeez. Hang on, let me... I'll come down here. Sorry about that, but brother, you good? Do some squats. It is uh, my first time here. I'm here with my, uh, my partner, Chris, and our business, Pure Crop One, because we decided we're going to make sure all the cannabis is great. So you make sure you get that sprayed on it, 100% clean, 100% organic. It's Jonathan Valdman from Forever Flowering. Really excited to be here. The Emerald Cup's always the, the celebration of the year, you know, where we get together with uh, all of our old friends and new friends and really excited about some of our new products. We've got, we're have got we really hitting the market from the hobby grower with our Kush cottages, you know, that people can grow in their backyard. So we're really excited to expand from, you know, the home grower all the way to the licensed producer, multi-hectare farm, you know. So my man's stingy. What's going on? I'm just doing good. Just setting up right now. We're at the Runs booth over here. You know, I got my uh, Stingy's pre-rolls right here. I've seen those. You know what I'm saying? You get two two half gram joints in one package right here. And uh, this is for the Stingy smoker. It's not meant to share. It's a small little joint. It's our girl Tawny with uh, Flow Canna. This has been such a incredible learning curve year for all of us. Like we've all seen the challenges. Um, but to, you know, at the end of the year, the enthusiasm and, you know, the grit that the community has to see it through and succeed and keep pushing is amazing. Delilah from Farm to Bong. Now, where is BC Bud Gal and Carly Marley from the 420 Lifestyle when you need them? Uh, you want to tell us what's going on here? Well, I'm actually from Flocana. Um, we're doing Farm to Bong. We're making bongs out of fruits and veggies. Basically, our farmers not only um, produce organic cannabis, but we also produce organic produce. So that's the message we're trying to get out here today. If you carve a bong and it's functional, uh, you can win a Summerland bong today. Sometimes you gotta sit down for a minute, take a load off. I appreciate when they give us a place to do that. Just swinging along, smoking some weed. What do I win? 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 I win five bucks off. Hey, win a winner. Five dollars for dinner. Down here on the couch at the Emerald Cup. God damn, this is a big fucking chair. It's yellow. I think I kind of like this chair. Could use a fanny pack. So he thinks he can roll. We know how. We've done this two times before. Let's make it three. Oh, yeah. I've already been warming up, buddy. Eric Craig X down here at the Emerald Cup 2018. Let's see how he rolls, shall we? Yeah, man. I got some Sunbolt Loopy Fruit. 420. We are here in the VIP booth with one of the VIPs of the event. It is the Soil King himself, man. This is really looking good, this new Seed to Soil package. What is this? This is craft cannabis, the true craft cannabis. Everybody in this industry is coming out with a craft cannabis, but craft cannabis means a lot more. It doesn't start with the cannabis. starts with the Seed to Soil, the farm to table experience. starts with the heart and soul for the cultivator. So this, this is a wick. This is all a, a hemp wick. So you pull that out, take the wax off, pull the cork, light the wick light your joint it's 100 percent flour it's not smalls it's not trim it's everything we put in our seed to sold jars we grind it up and put it in here i mean it's this is this is the real deal 
Nat from Madrone. What's going on, big man? You know, just kicking it at the Emerald Cup with you, man. Up and down. Living the dream out here. And of course, you know, the reality has changed a little bit in California since we were here last. Yeah, no, there's definitely been a lot of change over the last couple years. I think this is the biggest year of change. Um, you know, everybody's kind of Voltron. Instead of having a series of 10 by 10 booths, there's 20 buys and 40 buys. And obviously seeing big money in the industry now. And it's our job, you know, we're a craft cannabis brand and trying to hold that space for the craft community. and. We're feeling blessed to be here, for sure. The Mendo Dope Boys, we got Bleezy, we got Oldie in the place to be. What's going on, y'all? Not a man, just having hella fun. It's a crazy cup this year. We didn't know what to expect. It's looking pretty fun, though. Oh, man, you know, we just had a real fun year. We teamed up with Green Shock Farms, and we are pretty much, we grew the biggest garden we've ever grown. And I think maybe even some of the biggest plants that we've ever grown. Mara, Gordon, what's going on? Oh, I am so excited to be here. I, you know, one year into regulation. I'm actually 29. I just looked 79 because of all the stress of this it's past year. It's been a bit of work this last year. This past year has been unbelievable. Um, I'm excited that we're making it through. We've made it through into legalization. Um, I'm a little sad about some of the companies that haven't, but we're going to do what we can to help to lift them up and sure. continue their brand. That's it, 2018 Emerald Cup's basically done now. Just a couple of performers, but the awards are all handed out, and here we are. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. 2018 is a great year. We can't wait to see you guys next year. It's going to be even better. And I can't wait to see you up in Vancouver for 420. Oh, yeah, we did shake hands. I'm definitely coming for 420 in Vancouver. It's amazing what's going to happen down here. You never know what's going to happen, except you're going to have a great time. I do know you will have that happen for sure. Craig X down here with Taylor Blake down at the Emerald Cup with Cannabis Life Network, Pot TV, Cannabis Culture, High Times, and, and hopefully you next year. We're out. Peace. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Thanks to Tim and Taylor Blake uh, for doing episode 156 with me down at the Sonoma County Fairgrounds in the middle of uh, their setup day. Appreciate that. And uh, for having us all at the 15th annual event. Also, thanks to CLN for putting together such a, well, a well put together video that you can now see, obviously just on the show, you see it on Cannabis Life Network, YouTube, it'll be up on expertjoints.com on Sunday, and um, oh yeah, also on High Times TV, probably by like Monday, I guess. Yeah, you'll be able to check that out under the Out and About with Craig X videos on that series over there at High Times TV, we can check out. Uh, and of course, for more information on the Emerald Cup, it's theemeraldcup.com. Uh, I've also got to thank Skunk Funk Smokers Emporium for joining us uh, in the chaos here with uh, Expert Joints Live. I appreciate their support and they'd surely appreciate yours. Uh, so consider visiting skunkfunksmoker.ca if you happen to need any accessories or anything like that. Uh, I've also got to thank all my guests today. It was uh, nice having a full house here to kick off the uh, 2019 first episode of the year here. Uh, ben, appreciate you coming, man. Thank Plus, you so shout much outs. For having me, man. Thanks. Um, uh, Band Rules plays uh, Saturday night in Toronto at the Bovine Sex Club. It's going to be a lot of fun. Love it. Yeah. Tweedle Noob over there, I have something for you. You like sloths, right? That's your spirit animal or oh, something, yeah, if I know your Twitter, if I know your Twitter right. I don't know if you have one of these yet, but now you do. What is oh. this? It's a pack of gum with a sloth on it. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, it's actually it? my boyfriend that's the sloth. Ah, uh, okay. That's there a you sloth go. guy, hey. right? He will love this. Did you know that there was you go. That's amazing. That well, then please get it to him. For I me. absolutely will. These things are incredible. And yeah, Yo, can we, can we talk about those? Thank you. These absolutely. Yeah. So I have my website, tweedledoob.com. I have a gallery of a lot of pictures and a few blogs, and I also have a shop. And I have a lo all of this stuff is designed by my friend Roger Beck. Which and we met uh, and, and saw at the uh, Emerald Cup, uh, sorry, at the Karma Cup video. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold them up so Todd can see them. Yeah. There you go. Lovely. See them? Tweedledoo.com. I love it, man. And can I give these away to some people? Please do. I'll give you a few more. Hey, nice. We'll put these in the uh, in one of the upcoming Puff Puff Pass it along. So one of you big wieners will go ahead and get these. Congratulations, man. Awesome. These are very cool. I really like it. Like I say, one of my favorite my favorite things is my fucking jolly joint over here, my Tweedle Doob pin that I have nailed to the wall. I'll show you later. It's right by my desk. It's cool. Um, and lucky guys who can get that. I actually, it'd be really cool if people could get some more of this stuff easier and in more places. Absolutely. We'll have to talk. Yeah, but first, before we get into that, any plugs, shout outs for you, Mike, things we need to know, stuff 
stuff to shout us out? Uh, SmokingSkies.com, check us out. I um, always appreciate the love you guys give us. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. There will be, of course, uh, a recap video and information about the uh, the event this weekend on SmokersGuide.com throughout the weekend and through the Smokers Guide social, Smokers Guide Canada as well, too. Yeah, absolutely. A recap video. Yep. <laughs> all to come. Awesome. All to come. Lots more with all the social medias. Of course, she's at Tweedledoob. He's at Ben Rispin. He's Mike.SmokersGuide. And, of course, back in the back here, <laughs> can't forget my the cousins, not brothers. The track was brothers by my man Keemzy. Thanks for coming through, boss. If, uh, of course, down in the link on the YouTube uh, description, there's the track. Uh, click that. You can see the whole video in its entirety. Absolutely. Go ahead and enjoy that a little bit more for us. And, of course, the big puffer doing his thing. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Yeah. We'll see you here next week, of course. Yeah. Get the music. Any plugs besides the G-Town merch? Um, look out for the album, uh, January 19th. Right. 604's Finest. And, yeah. And, and you got the show coming up in Fortune as well, too. Yeah, we got a show coming up January 21st, and Black Horse is out now. So check that out on all platforms as well, Black Horse, maybe First Productions. I love it, man. The show of fortune and, and the project Black Horse, man. I, it's been a great show here. Holy shit, it's run really long. Okay. Uh, uh, thanks for everybody for there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, Pot TV. Uh, make sure tomorrow, I'm sure, will be a very important episode, probably one of the most important episodes about cannabis culture news ever. Uh, much to talk about there. Unfortunately, there's been some uh, bad news on the cannabis culture front, which I'm sure a lot of you heard of, and there'll be more to come on, obviously, tomorrow from Cannabis Culture News down there. So watch Jer at 4 o'clock. High noon with Alyssa and Miles on Saturdays. The 420 Lifestyle, that's on Mondays, and that's also 4 o'clock. High noon is obviously at noon. Do I even need to say that? Uh, Carly Marley and BC Budgal this week featuring Tweedledoo. She'll be over there, and actually... Speaking of BC Budgal, well, we'll mention that in a second. Uh, also, from under the influence, though, from Greg Marijuana, Man Williams, and Al the Alchemist. Again, I gotta smoke a dude with that guy pretty soon. Remind me to, Man. Todd, remind me to send him a message. So elusive. He's so elusive. Right? He sounds like that guy. really sounds elusive. You gotta meet him, Ben. You gotta, you gotta see him. He's a good dude. Man. Hey, man, thanks so much for having me on the show. I had such a great time here. Yeah. Just hanging out all day. You guys, all you guys are fucking so great. You guys are great. It's at a wicked time, man. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot of fun. Thank you so much. a lot of fun, man. And I called it much media because really we've got the, the, the you know, Smoker's Guide, their outlet, your, your platform as well, too, the, the verticals that you do, what I do. I mean, there's so many. puffa has got a show. Anyway, I mean, it's videos and music and shit. There's just so much awesome. content and stuff. Thank Everybody you. You too. This room yeah, just puts cool, out. Man. It's crazy. Between us all, man, it's amazing what we could do if we all started putting a lot of it out together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Weed is tight. Weed is tight. Anyway, with that, uh, make sure, yes, as I said, the aforementioned uh, BC Bud Gal will join us tomorrow on Fridays for episode 27. Back in the booth with DJ Slippy and our homegirl from the Monday show. That's right, we'll be back in there doing it. So make sure you tune into Fridays at 2 on Fridays on SaveOnRadio.com. That's right, the BC Bug is going to be there. That should be dope. Also, chat room, thank you very much. CBC Voter, 420 Wild Dragon, Jason Gregg, CLN, I see you guys in there. What's going on? B. Bogart, I hope you got your uh, prizes, man. I hope that thing uh, uh, made its way through. Jason Gray, all y'all folks over there, Riley Pearson, Thomas Crew, Eric Bryant, all these faces and people who I see. Ryan Burke, what's going on, everybody? People after people just line up. I appreciate you guys coming through all the time. Um, also, come back next week because that'll be episode 159. And on the show next week, that will be um, Siobhan McCarthy from Blissful Alchemy. She's going to be here next week to talk. Also, I believe Mark from Roll Your Own. Uh, my man from there, the, the, the hookup with the, the rolling paper, Mac Daddy himself. So that should be kind of <laughs> cool as well, too. I think he's got something new to debut, so and much to talk about. Should be a fun episode. Puff will be back there. We hope you'll be back there. I know I'll be back here. And Parker, yeah, he feels like it. You never know with him. He's usually pretty compliant. Also, thanks to Dan from Fukushima Pre-Rolls Factory making the cameo, man. Thank you for being here. Obviously, get fooked. And I don't mean that in a bad way. But just, just you, just get fooked, man. It's... it's, it's best thing I can tell you at this point, the best advice I can give you. Um, with that, Andrew, are you good? You ready? Everything's working over there? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Then, if you please, we'll see you next week, y'all. Hit the music, Andrew. Peace. <laughs>